Hello! I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. Now, if you know about the Neptunia games, you'll know that they've gone through sort of like a rebirth every so often. We've got three rebirth games, which are essentially remakes of the first three Neptunia games. This is essentially what this is. It's essentially Fairy Fencer F Rebirth 1. But it needs a new snazzy title, which is Advent Dark Force. There's some story changes from the original, and there's a few gameplay changes. So, let's get going. No config. Oh, here we go. Ooh, this menu looks pretty cool. Right, we got easy, which is HP, HP and stats down by 10%. Hmm. Default HP and stats, or HP 25% up for enemies, stats up by 20%, and gains additional abilities. I'm very tempted. Additional item drops. Hard trophies can be unlocked. Well, that's that's always a bonus. I'm very, very tempted to go hard. Very tempted, because I want a bit of a challenge. Yeah, let, let's go on hard. Let's go on hard. I might regret it. Hopefully I can change it later. Um, select difficulty. You can change the difficulty at any point in the game. So yeah, if I go hard and I find it too hard, we can change it later. Yes! Ah, here we go. Proceed with current settings. You haven't even let me select anything, so... Surround? No, we'll put it on... Oh, no. Don't want to do that. Stereo. Background music. Let's see. How loud does that get? Quite loud. Quite, quite loud. We'll put that back down. Right. Effect volume. Voice volume we want... Up as much as we can. Currently set to loud. Maybe not loud. Normal. We'll set it to normal. Just just before it goes over to loud in the description. There we are. 69%. It would be 69. Movie volume. We'll put that up to 69 as well. I want to get things right. Vocal highlight. That was in Neptunia. Mega Dimension as well, wasn't it? That was good. Voice. Obviously English. Um, what else do we want? Rotate minimap. Oh, I think that's pretty much it in terms of what we want. Message display we want fast. Yeah, yeah, this is all good. Um, confirm settings to begin. Long ago, when light and darkness still bore life, the goddess emerged from the light, and an entity known as the Vile God burst forth from the darkness. battle ensued between the deities. The light tore the darkness to shreds. The darkness corroded the light. And eventually, both sides lost their spark of life. And so, the goddess and the vile god fell into a deep, eternal slumber, like a dying star emitting a final burst of light before imploding. Well, of course. Wake up, Fang. <laughs> Fang, wake up! Hey, Fang! Wake up! Come on, wake up already! It's me, Aaron. I'm here to rescue you. You need to run. I like what they've done with the bars. Huh? Who's gotta run? You! You, obviously! Duh! You're so pathetic! I can't believe you try to skip out on paying for bread! Now rise and shine! We need to run! <sighs> run? Why? You have a duty as a fencer, remember? Hurry up and get out of here so you can collect the Furies with me! Nah. You can leave. But I kinda like this place. 
I'm thinking about spending the rest of my life here. In a prison. Huh? Don't you know where you are? You're in prison. The Clink? The Slammer? The Crowbar Hotel? What? Crowbar Hotel? I've never heard that one before. I know exactly where I am. Heaven! Seriously, this place rocks! I get free food and as much sleep as I want. In fact, I want to retire here. You idiot! Stealing food in this town is a serious crime. You'll be punished with a hundred sharp slaps on your wrist. That's not exactly a harsh punishment, but okay. Your hands will get so swollen that you won't be able to move them anymore. Yeah, but they'll heal. That's fine. Just means I'll have an excuse not to wash my face. Disgusting. I'm awestruck by your stupidity. How are you supposed to eat if you can't move your hands? Good point. Let's get out of here. I'm tired. You're gonna have to carry me the rest of the way. I remember when I played the original version of this. And I had an instant dislike to Fang. I, st I still don't like him at this point, to be honest. He does become a really, really good character. But at this point, he's a dick. Huh? What are you talking about? You haven't even walked ten steps yet! Prison life has made me soft and weak. Now stop complaining and just carry me already. Quit messing around! You've only been locked up for three days! Stop talking back to me all the time, you stuck-up fairy. I'm the master here. You should be thankful that I'm even trusting a fairy with my amazing body. Just so we're clear, I'm not your slave. Got it? Fencers and fairies are equals. Remember that. Now be quiet. I put the guards to sleep with my magic. Let's hurry up and get out of here before they wake up. <laughs> Guess I've got no choice. <sighs> Why did I get stuck with someone like him as my partner? Brown key. Will I need that? Man, I'm starving. I wish someone would donate me some bread. How's it going? You're not from around these parts, are you? <laughs> Is that obvious, huh? Hey, what's the deal with that sword? Oh, that? That's a fury, one of those old fairy weapons. That sword's been stuck there since before this town was built. Occasionally some foolhardy guy will swagger up to that sword to try to pull it out, but so far no one's managed to do it. Gotcha. Does something cool happen if you pull it out? Who knows? Every kid knows the legend, though. If you wield a fury, any wish you desire will be granted. Tell you what, if you're feeling confident, why don't you try pulling out that sword? I see. If it grants any wish, then I could wish for as much food as I want. He's got a one-track mind. Nice to meet you. My name's Aaron. I'm a fairy. I, I love Erin. She, she's such a nice character, and I love her design as well. It's, it's glorious. Give me some food. Ugh. I am the life that resides in the fury you hold in your hand. What's your name? I'm Fang. Give me some food. Dude, seriously. Nice to meet you, Fang. That sword belongs to you now, and with it, my power is yours as well. From this day forward, you are now a fencer. You're going to help me collect the Furies! Hey, wait a minute! I shut my mouth and let you give your little spiel, but this is where I draw the line. A fencer? No one decides my fate except me. Now, hurry up and make with the food. Fencers are sword specialists who fight to collect the Furies! That sword in your hand is just one Fury out of a hundred. If you gather all the Furies and revive the goddess who has been sealed away with the vile god, your wish will be granted! I mean... While I'm annoyed by Fang at this point in the story, I do find it funny that Eren is still carrying on her speech like a normal JRPG, but Fang's just like, yeah, food. What the hell? 
That's not what I was told. You're a fraud. A big fat fairy fraud. I thought I just had to yank out this damn sword. Not at all. That's just the beginning. Now come, young fencer. Let's begin our wondrous adventure together. No. Huh? What was that? I said no. I don't want to be a fencer. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Just thinking about collecting 100 weapons makes me sleepy. Hey! You're the one who broke the seal and woke me up! That makes you a fencer! You've already formed an unbreakable bond with me, so don't say such hurtful things! An unbreakable bond? I'll break any bonds I want. Later. Wait a second! The one who pulls out the sword is destined to revive the goddess with me! Cool story, but I don't take orders from anyone. I'm the one who decides my fate. And you're the one who decided to pull out the sword, so... Aww. Fine! Just walk away, you heartless scoundrel! You're the worst! So you thought you could get away with stealing some bread just because you pulled out that sword? Just how naive are you? I didn't steal it. I just thought it was a free sample. I should have just pawned the sword for some cash instead. The Fury chose you! Don't you know what that means? And the Fury has a super cute fairy living inside! Instead of some old man or weird creature, we should be thrilled right now! Come on! Was that line in the original version? Hey, you there! What are you doing? Oh no! It's the guards! They found you! Yeah, thanks to you screaming at the top of your lungs! Alright, fairy. There's only one option. As your master, I order you to sacrifice yourself to save me. He... he does get better. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm your partner, we're in this together! Now come on, fight! Use me, Fang. Use the power of the Fury! Fairy Link! Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on, but I guess I've got no choice. Oh, I expected a longer scene there. This is what I based the um, scene selection on, by the way. This background here, including the tape on the corners. Right, basic battle controls. Battles are turn-based, and each character acts one at a time. Turn order is displayed on the left. Good. On your turn, you can move with the L before performing actions. You can attack by pressing the X button if enemies are in range. This is one of the basics of combat. You better remember it. I don't know. As we know, text-based tutorials are a problem for me. If I forget anything, please do remind me. Select Wait by pressing the square button. Wait raises your physical defense and makes your next turn arrive sooner. You might be able to use this effectively depending on your strategy. Oh, is that it? No, that's not it. Press the triangle button to open up the command menu and select skills slash magic with the X button. This will display a list of available skills and magic spells. Choose one, of, one from the list and press the X button to use it. However, you will need SP to use these moves. Some might even have HP costs, so please be careful. Though their use is limited, you can use skills and magic to unleash powerful attacks, restore HP, and much, much, much more. Use these moves wisely to defeat your enemies. There we go. You ready? Ooh. Ready, Fang? Just use me and you'll defeat these guys in no time. Well, this is a different area than when we first played the original game. You're just a damn sword! These guys still outnumber me! That time we were outside in a green area, weren't we? I'm not a regular sword, you know. You can do powerful attack combos and dominate your opponents. That's it. Seriously, that's nothing special. <laughs> I'm a fairy, remember? That means you can use me to cast magic. 
What? Magic? We should have said so before! Monkfish foie gras roasted meat? That's the stuff I want to eat! Come on, food! Hey, I think your magic's busted. She doesn't conjure food. What are you doing? It's not that kind of magic. It's attack magic, got it? Use that! He's such an idiot. I... I... He does get better. Honest. Ah, that's not useful at all. What are you talking about? Times like this are when it's most useful. Now let's go! Why are they waiting to attack? Get ready! There we go. Ooh, I like the new spinny thing in the right hand corner. Right, so let's have a look at commands then. Skills magic. Let's do shooting slash. Gotta remember we're on hard here. Executing shooting slash. Here Executing go, shooting Eric. slash. <laughs> I'm glad they kept that. Stay down! Impossible! Here. Yeah, we're destroying it on hard. Not that it was a tutorial bit, no. I didn't realize I was so strong. Well, I guess it's not that surprising. I am pretty awesome. That's right! You've had potential as a fencer all along. Now let's get out of here before you attract any more guards. I'm sorry, remind me again who attracted their attention in the first place. I like a little hat, like the uh, scholarly hat, what would you call, what's it called? It's got a name, what's it called? Someone let me know what that hat is called. In dungeons, you can battle enemies and find useful items. Dungeons also have save points and treasure crystals. Inside dungeons, you can only save at save points, so be very careful. Pressing the options button will let you view the dungeon map. Everything is marked for you, so check the map if you ever get lost. Jump! In dungeons, you can perform dungeon attacks. Attacks? Where'd I get that from? Actions, such as symbol attacks and jumping. Press the X button to perform a symbol attack. If the symbol attack connects with a wandering enemy, you will secure a preemptive strike. Press circle to jump. You can climb or jump over steps. Potential dead ends can possibly be overcome by jumping, so bravely jump into the unknown. Thank you, Aaron. Oh, we're not done. When you move to the edge of the battlefield, the escape command will appear. You can attempt to escape by pressing the R2 button. If you're successful, you will flee the battle, but if you fail, your turn will end and the battle will continue. Oh, I completely forgot. As soon as one person in your party manages to escape, the battle will end. There's no need for everyone to escape at once. She's got a lot to tell us. Now let's talk about the dash function. When you're in a dungeon, you can use dash with L2. This is useful for moving quickly over a short distance. It's super useful for shaking off an enemy pursuing you. Change that, but okay. It's pretty convenient, but keep in mind you can't change direction while dashing. And if you dash into an enemy, you'll go into battle. Destructible objects as well. It's about time we discussed destructible objects. Basically, you'll sometimes find objects in dungeons that you can destroy, which is called, appropriately enough, object destruction. Destroying objects will reward you with gold and items, and nothing bad will happen if you destroy them. So just go ahead and destroy whatever you can. About game over. If your phone in battle gets knocked out, it's game over. For the most part, if this happens, then you'll restart the game from the beginning of the last dungeon you entered. That's not that bad then. I suggest you save whenever you find a save point. There we go. Let's just jump. That's attack. So I'm going to destroy this chair. Yes. I can't destroy the chair. What's the thingy in there? Brown key used. Ah, so it did come in handy. Gimme. 32 gold, which is 23 backwards. Gimme. Herb Sprout. Oh, I'm liking this music. Let's have a look here, see if anything else is in these cells. I like that we've got a dungeon straight away. Whereas before we had sort of like a greenery area. That's the only way I can describe it. There's nothing in here though. Brown key. That's weird, I couldn't go through then. Oh well. Ding. Huh? 
Hey, that keyhole is kind of red. You think this key will open it? No, I don't think so. But it must open when I was here before. Then I guess we just gotta defeat some guards and take their key. That guy in the back looks like the leader. Let's go after him. Aaron's Fixer Lecture. Are you familiar with dungeon puzzles? Why? Yes, yes I am. Essentially, while you're wandering around a dungeon, you might run into a little puzzle or device that blocks your way forward. In this case, you'll need the door key to get through. I happen to know that it's a red key and it's being held by a black guard captain. Once you have all the items you need for the device, press X in the right spot to activate it. There are all different types of puzzles. Some need special items, some don't. If you see something that catches your eye while you're exploring, just examine it with X. Thank you, Aaron. More? When you make contact with an enemy, a battle will start. But by using the symbol attack with X, you can secure a preemptive strike. With careful use, you can consistently gain the upper hand. However, if an enemy gets the drop on you, that triggers an ambush, and the enemy will have a preemptive strike. This might put you in hot water, so be very careful. Pay close attention when you're visiting a dungeon for the first time. Check it out! If an enemy gets within range, that pointy icon will appear above your head. You'll see an exclamation icon if an enemy spots you, so be on the lookout for that. Alright then. Something else around. Alright, we got a preemptive, good. Start messing around here and try and figure stuff out. So, skills magic, shooting slash. Executing, shooting slash. Executing, shooting slash. These are fairly easy. I'm assuming this is the tutorial dungeon. Let's go with normal attacks. Of course, I can't do combos yet, can I? I forgot about that. Next. Next. What we need to see, though, is if we can do more damage when we're behind the enemies. We've got the red key, but I want to go over here first, seeing as there seems to be a way down here. Brown key used. If you've been um, watching my SAO series, by the way, I've been going on about the countdown for the next Compile Heart game that they're going to announce. It actually came out through Dengeki, what the game is. It's going to be a card battler game. Like, I think it's called... Oh dear. Stop resisting. That's not good. Get ready. Yeah, it's going to be called Nepu Nepu Connect. And I can't remember the subtitle for it. Executing shooting slash. Yeah, Executing go, shooting slash. Stay down. Impossible. I did also change Get the config, by the way. I went back and redid it. I turned up the voice volume because it was quite low in the scenes music was overpowering it, even though I did turn it up a bit. That's a bit weird, there's a bit of lag there. You'd think you'd just be able to go through, but no. Didding. Let's get behind him. Sorry. Don't have to be anywhere near them, really, it's weird. Shooting slash. I was gonna say, is he not dead? Executing shooting slash. Here I come. Let's go, Aaron. <laughs> Stay down. Impossible. It's not impossible. That was nothing. Green key. Awesome. Gimme. Gimme. 45 gold. Let's get behind this guy. Get ready. Yeah, I don't need to be really near them. I assume the entire swing Executing is coming to an effect. When I'm doing that. Stay down. Impossible. It's not that impossible. Stop saying that. Clearly dying. Are right, we done for this bit? Right, let's carry on then. So glad to be playing Fairy Fencer again. Did enjoy my time with the original version. I'm wondering if this one will come to PC though. There's the green one. There's a yellow one. Alright, so we'll go this way first. That's green ones. Gimme. Energy shard. Oh, I'll need them, won't I? It's like it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back. 
Just wish I had some of my skills. Oh dear. Like I said, I need to get some stuff. Item. Energy. Perfect. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. Let's do I'm just kidding you. It's completely different. Can I get both of them? Yes. Executing shooting slash. We are executing shooting slash. Stay down. Impossible. That was nothing. A new power. Yellow key. Awesome. What did we get? What did we get? I said a new power. What did we get? I don't know. Let's do this. Yeah, it's quite bizarre at the moment because I am playing the European version. And it's not out in Europe until Friday. Stay down. Impossible. For some reason, Idea Factory decided to send out the limited editions like a week early, essentially. A week early, it's, it's weird. Which way did I come from? Was it down there I came from? Yeah, so we go down here. Yeah, they sent them out a week early, so that's the reason I'm actually playing it right now. I need a blue key. Need a blue key. Ooh. Let's go the green way, though. I do like the um, scroll, the art scroll that I got. I'll have to put that up on the wall once I finish making my studio. Which is taking some time right now. I've still not got enough money to actually buy the bed for the bedroom first then I'll start working on actually buying desks and stuff and then I want a new computer as well all right let's sneak behind Ooh, that was close oh it's just this guy all right then let's execute a shooting slash executing shooting slash the reason their voices are quite monotone on the skills by the way with the executing shooting slash is because it's meant to sound slightly robotic, is what I learned from when I played the Stop original resisting. version. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Let's do this. Right. We need to heal up because we're in trouble right now. And then we'll get our energy up. Stop I've resisting. I've got to remember I'm on hard right now. So I've got to be prepared a bit more. Watch what I'm doing. Stop resisting. That's Stop good, that's good. Resisting. Good, you've lined Stop up nicely. Perfect, thank you very much. Because now I can do executing shooting slash. Executing shooting slash. And try and take out all three of you at once. Next. Impossible. Lovely. Get out of here. Lukey! Let's go back and use that. Because I do want to see what was in... I want to say chests, but it's not chests, is it? It's... Crystals. It's very eerie, this place. They, they nailed the music. Who's done the music for this? Does anybody know? What's inside? A fashionable ring. I might equip that if I can. Don't know if there's going to be any DLC for this game either. Because in the original, because I was playing it on PC, I got a lot of What's DLC inside? straight away. Is that it? Am I done? Yep. But yeah, a lot of DLC. Where's equipment? Can't remember how to do equipment. Is it battle options? Equip. There we are. Aha. It's not enough to own gear. You need to physically equip it using the equip section of the battle options menu. You can't remove the fury I reside in, which is displayed in red, but you can freely switch around your other gear. Choose an equipment slot with the D-pad, then press X. A list of gear that will be equipped in the slot will appear. So choose whatever you like and press X. That's all there is to changing equipment. Also, you can view a character's status by pressing triangle in the equipment screen. This will show any stat changes that may occur when you change gear. Thank you, Eren! Right, so, let's have a look. Ooh, magic goes down but our physical defense goes up. I think at the moment we do need more physical defense. It's more important right now. Yeah, DLC, like I've got nothing here right now. But, I did have, in the original version, I don't know why I have to call it but the original version by the way, if you can think of a better name, let me know. Yeah, in the original version, I um, had some Neptunia DLC, with some of the weapons. So just try and skip stuff, I want to take out these leader guys because, these seem to be the ones who actually have anything. Wrong button, just jumped at him. In fact, 
Right, wait, yeah, I was gonna say go away challenge because I want to see my items. I wanna do this and try and pull them in again. So I don't stop waste stuff. Stop resist, trying stop to think some tactics stop here. Resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. <laughs> right, two of them are close together, so that's fine. We'll execute a shooting slash. Executing shooting slash. Here I come. Let's go, Aaron. <laughs> Stop resisting. Impossible. Let's do this. We will be using similar ideas to how we played Neptunia, by the way. When we go to a dungeon, we'll kill one of each enemy to see what they're like, and then skip the rest. And off the video, I'll go and level up separately. Silver key. Awesome. So that's why we're skipping enemies here right now, because we've done several of these, and I probably will need to level up quite a bit for this. Seeing as we're playing on hard. I do like that dungeons have more to them now though. It's not just get to the end, it's actually got some effort into it. It's actually some thought of like, no you need to explore because you need to find keys. It's like, ooh, interesting. Alright, let's do a save. There we go then. Silver key used. I don't, I, I don't like that little lag though, I really don't. I feel like I should be able to run ahead, but I can't. Here's an event. Oh, can I avoid the event? No. All right, this must be the exit. Wait, that's... You, are you a fencer? Huh? Nope, not me. I just accidentally became her first, and now she's trying to hold me responsible. I'm basically a victim of fraud. Now's no time for joking around. I get the feeling this guy's the real deal. Oh, he is. I came here to confirm reports of a Fury sighting, but I never expected it to come directly to me. I suppose fate demands that those who walk the path of the sword to meet in such a way. Oh, hey, hold on. Did you hear anything I just said? Regardless, my search for the Fury is ended. Let us now trade life for death, and see who stands the stronger warrior. Uh-oh. I'm telling you, I have no interest in all this Fencer stuff! To battle! Hello? Out of my way! Let us begin, Damn you're it. not it. What's with this guy? Is this the power of a Fencer? We got annihilated. There is nothing behind your blade. No resolve, no conviction. Never even had a chance to use it. You are a fool to stand against me with such a blade. Bang! Mm. We have to run! You don't stand a chance right now! Don't be stupid! He's already made a fool of me once! I can't just run off with my tail between my legs! If you're not careful, he'll cut that tail off. partner for once, would you? Hey! Stop pulling on me! So, he flees. Hey, the boy is a poor fencer, but something about him caused my soul to tremble. Perhaps it's best I let him go for now. I don't think they're chasing us anymore. You can let go of my hand now. I can't believe you made us run off like that. I totally could have taken him. Yeah. As if. He was a veteran fencer. You don't even know how to fuse with your fairy. There's no way you were winning that fight. Yeah, well, whatever. Listen, I can tell you were upset that you lost. You want to fight like he does, right? Then accept me as your partner and let's go find the rest of the furies. Then we can revive the goddess. What are you talking about? Don't tell me what to do next. Like I already said, I'm not interested in doing anything that sounds like a hassle. What does that mean? Did you forget how I saved you earlier? Don't you have a conscience? Conscience? Never heard of it. Later. Wait! I... I don't have any memories. That's him. Get him with sympathy. Huh? Your memories are gone? Yeah. I know that I have to revive the goddess, but I don't remember how I'm supposed to do that. So... 
So, what? Never mind, just go already. Leave me alone. I must seem really annoying to you, huh? Well, this annoying little fairy won't be bothering you anymore. What? Just hurry up and go already. After you abandon me, my body and soul will wither away until I'm just a ragged cloth, waiting to die in some lonely peck alley. And I won't remember anything about myself. <laughs> I'm so pitiful. <sighs> Listen, if I fused with you, would I be able to use the same kind of power he did? You sure would. <sighs> Well, it does piss me off that I wasn't able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I don't really give a crap about your goddess, but I suppose I could use your help until I pay that bastard back. So you're saying... I'm saying I'll become your partner. See? You really are a nice guy after all. Yeah. But, I do have one condition. Condition? Food. There they are! Over here! Yeah. <laughs> I guess some of those guards are still alive. Friggin' persistent. There's a meter called the Tension Gauge. As you can see, it displays your current tension level. Your tension won't go up when you defeat an enemy or inflict damage, and go down if your attacks miss or you fail to escape. Also, it's a little different based on each fence's personality. The higher your tension, the higher your physical attack put, your physical, physical attack will decrease when your tension is low. So, be careful. Also, when your tension hits a certain point, you can fair eyes. I'll explain that to you in detail in some other time. Anyway, there is no advantage to having low tension at all. So, make sure you remember to keep the tension gauge full. Let's go! Let's go! This is the bit I remember as being the first fight in the original game. All right, now that your tension's high enough, you can fair eyes. Fair eyes? Is that sort of like fried rice? Really? All he can think about is food. Idiot! It's pronounced fair eyes. There's no ice in it. What does this fair ride thing even do? Stop talking and just shout it out. Fair eyes. Just shout it out. Okay. Fair rice! Really? <sighs> Nothing happened. I look like an idiot just now. And you should do. You are an idiot. Like I said, it's not fair rice, it's fair rice. Do it again, and this time make sure you pronounce the Z. Zed. Let's do this. Rice. Fair rice. Fair rice! Yes, the music's back. Fury form transformation complete. All right, let's Ooh. go. Looks a bit cooler. All right, so burning strike. Let's do it on this one. Executing burning strike. Resisting. It's not a whoa! What the heck? I transformed. You just noticed? This combat form is what happens when your power merges with mine. It's called Fury Form. Wait, wasn't this sword stabbed through my stomach earlier? And why did I pose like that? What? What? Like, wouldn't that be your first thing? Like, oh my god, I just stabbed myself in the stomach. What the hell? This is so damn embarrassing. With this, your combat strength has increased drastically. Come on, let's go! So Fair Rise basically transforms me, right? Then wouldn't it be cooler if I shouted, It's Henshin Time! Or something? No. Ugh, jeez. You're so nitpicky. I said, let's go, so that means fight already! Seriously, I need a better explanation. Come on, let's go! Get ready! I do like his design here though. You can you can definitely tell there's a lot of Eren in this design. What with the wings coming out of him, etc. But anyway, skills magic. Shooting slashing is there next to each other. Executing shooting slash. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this. 
stay down. Impossible. That was nothing. Indeed. This is the power of a fury, and also the power of the bond between you and me. Gotcha. I thought a bond would be a hassle, but if it lets me bust out awesome power like that, then I guess it's not so bad. So, what was that condition you mentioned earlier? I'm the one who decides my fate. Even if I have to will that fate into existence, make sure you never forget that. Wow, that sounded really cool for some reason! But what exactly do you mean by that? Basically, I'm gonna eat when I wanna eat and sleep when I wanna sleep. Ugh. <sighs> Why, you simple-minded... 